Hey guys, it's Pip and welcome to Extreme Tileman. For some reason I decided normal Tileman was too easy and decided to make it way harder. Instead of a thousand XP, each tile will cost me one total level. As I progress, unlocking tiles will get harder instead of easier, scaling up to one million XP for a single tile. So what's really possible with such a small amount of tiles? Tiles that take much longer to unlock. The goal is to get enough levels, gear, and supplies to take on the fight caves and get a fire cape. But can I even get a fire cape with such an insane restriction? A lot of you seem to think it's impossible. My plan? To prove you wrong. Welcome to Extreme Tile Man Mode. It's been three months since the last episode, which is my bad, but Extreme Tile Man is back. And I think we could all use a quick 30 second refresher of where the account is and what I'm doing. With an infinite food source at my disposal, I began exploring the catacombs. We talked about the Great Migration, which is when I finally leave my starting area, never to return. We unlocked an anvil and the smithing skill, which I got roasted for, but trust me, this episode, you'll see why. We trained up our melee stats on skeletons, unlocked cyclopses to get an adamant mace, then spent about a week killing hill giants to get 43 prayer, and now I have overheads, which means I can kill high level monsters without taking damage, which is exactly what I'm planning to do next. A lot of people suggested I go for a rune scimitar as there's fire giants in the catacombs. And the next step is to get a rune scimitar, but not at fire giants. There's a monster already in my tiles that drops a rune scimitar. Introducing the head guard. He's like a normal guard, but he's like a higher level for some reason, I guess, because he gives head, which is weird because if you get levels from giving head, I should be like maxed by now. Anyways, he's a little bit less tanky than a fire giant but the drop rate is four times as rare. It's probably gonna take three times as long to get a rune sim, but I'll be saving about 40 tiles, which might not sound like a lot, but for my account, that could be weeks of tile gathering. So it might take a couple days, but a rune scimitar would be a huge upgrade. All right, first head guard, we can water strike him, bring him over to these tiles. First time using overheads, I would not be able to kill this guy without overheads. Let's drag him onto our tiles. Man, look at this guy's gear. He's got a dragon longsword and dragon square shield. Why doesn't he drop those? I, I guess I couldn't use them. I'm glad he dropped the rune sim, actually. Our first kill, imagine I spoon it on the first one. Nope, never lucky. Man, I kind of shredded him. It took me like a minute to kill that guy, but he's so accurate. Like if I miss a flick, he's just gonna hit like a five on me. I think his max is like 11, I'm not sure. Now's the unfortunate part. I kind of just have to wait for him to respawn because there's only one head guard. And I think he should spawn next to my tiles. Yep, there he is. I should just be able to unlock one tile for a rune sim. I want to melee him because just pretend you didn't see that. Sometimes they move the tick that you attack them and there's nothing you can do about it. No, I'm not unlocking the tile. No, I'm not restarting my account. Anyways, if it doesn't move the tick it spawns, I should just be able to attack them and tag it with melee on spawn. So I don't use all the runes that I need to train mage in the future. I will use the runes if it runs off the tile and I'm not paying attention or something. So I will use some runes, but I'm not going to use like an air rune per every kill i wouldn't be able i wouldn't have enough runes oh my god the thing just hit an eight on me i'm losing focus i need to go get more cakes after this kill jesus christ sometimes i just start talking and start rambling uh anyway i'll be here for a couple days until i get a rune scimitar maybe i'll get a rune kite on the way who knows they dropped those too but i don't really need it but maybe i'll get one i am cutting this trip so close i have one prayer point left you can two hit me he just he just hit a 10 oh my god i have no prayer Okay, he's dead. Jesus Christ. If you're wondering how I get prayer back, I have to go all the way to the catacombs, kill some skeletons, bury some bones. Since I don't have an altar unlocked, 43 skeletons later, I can get two bones. I don't know why this is a mechanic, but I'm not complaining. I don't need to unlock an altar. 43 prayer points restored. If you're a smart runescape player and you're asking why am I not killing hill giants, because big bones give two prayer points. It's because I want these bronze bars and air runes from the skeletons. The air runes are especially nice. I need to get to these anyway. It's kind of like a two bird stoned at one scenario. The skeletons just have better drops. The first mage level from just getting this guy onto my tiles, level eight mage. 59 attack, couple hours into the grind now. I, th I think that's our first level, I'm not sure. 97 guards killed. We're about 20% of the way to the drop rate. Oh, look at that, a rune kite shield. Looks so great on the ground. Wow, 131 guards killed. We kind of spooned it, spooned the wrong drop, but I will take this. Look at the defenses. Oh, I just doubled my defense. That is absolutely insane. Maybe this stupid guard will stop owning me so much when I miss flicks. That happens a lot, I suck at the game. Nice. 
not a super, super necessary drop for the Fire Cape, but it definitely helps. A big level coming in here. There it is. 60 attack. Absolutely huge. If I could get a Dragon Scimitar and do Monkey Madness, I could wear it. But the Rune one will have to do. I just need to get the drop now. To be fair, I've only killed like 150-ish. So I can't complain yet, but it's coming. Did you know the majority of my audience isn't even subscribed? Isn't that crazy? You're still here after the head guard joke, so uh, honestly, that's more than enough. But if you feel like it, click the subscribe button. Thanks. 45 thieving, just from thieving these for food. I haven't even like farmed the XP from the cake saw yet. We're at 186 guards killed. Probably do a, like an hour more today. This is like 20 to 30 kills an hour because it's so tanky and I have to wait for the respawn. This is slow. I've been killing these all day today, 201 kills. Nothing to show for it but a rune kite shield. We start again tomorrow and hopefully get the rune scimitar. Level 10 magic coming in. I spent all day killing head guards and it is 5.30 a.m. The system update is about to hit. So I think I'm gonna go to bed. 63 strength, nothing too eventful today, just some levels. We're at 425 head guards killed. I think I'm gonna restore all my prayer points and then head to bed. I'm not giving up hope. Oh, a tinderbox. That's actually incredibly useful. Sometimes when an imp is on my tiles over here, I just kill him to see what I get. Tinderbox is very useful. I can probably keep this in my inventory for the foreseeable future. We are at the start of day three, 450 guards killed. Almost at that drop rate. I'm actually like really excited about this tinderbox. This is incredibly annoying and awkward, but I have the rune scimitar. But as I clicked replay buffer to save the clip after I freaked out, checked the stats of it. It is a huge upgrade. It's 20, it's literally just double with Addy Maces. Actually insane for my account. And I clicked the save replay buffer. And because I clicked it, I think my computer crashed. Like the second I hit save replay, my computer blue screened, which is really annoying, but I don't have the recording, but it's still on my rune light tracker. I spent like 20 something hours getting this drop where it's 98 hours played. And when I actually get the drop, 20 something hours in, I don't even get to record it. You guys don't even get to hear my reaction after three days of grinding, finally getting the drop. I could like stage it, but I don't know, that feels kind of weird. It's really, really annoying. So I'm sorry about that, but we have the rune scimitar now. It's actually like, I can go do crazy stuff now. I can kill even more insane monsters. Plus I look really cool. I got two rune items. Now that I have my rune scimitar, I want to talk about this comment from my last video because he's absolutely right. If I walk up to a dragon with my rune scimitar and rune kite shield, the dragon is just gonna breathe fire on me and I'm dead. Just overheads is not enough to kill dragons, which is a shame because some of the dragons in the catacombs have absolutely insane drops, specifically a dehyde body, which if I can get my hands on would make the fire cape so much easier. So I decided to start theory crafting and try to come up with a method to kill a dragon without being dragon fired. In multi-combat zones, you can tank regular monsters on your main and still get the loot on your Iron Man without the monster ever hitting you. But unfortunately, these brutal dragons are just outside of a multi-combat area. When I attack the dragon who's in combat with my main, because it's single way combat, it will stop attacking my main and turn its focus towards me. But when I started testing this, I noticed it took a couple of hits for it to turn towards me and attack me. Like it stopped attacking, but it still wouldn't aggro to me for the first couple hits. And if I stopped attacking, it would just get back on my main. Meaning there's a small window where it doesn't aggro you if you attack it. And when I mean a small window, I mean really small. With this method, I could get like two hits in every 30 seconds. Meaning kills would be incredibly slow, but I could kill them. But the question is how long would a kill take? Okay, I've got my aggression lines on. We need to push this box further into the blue dragon area. All right, those lines look good. So now if I wait in these boxes for 10 minutes, nothing will attack me. I'll become unaggressive as it's called, because if I'm aggressive, when I walk into the blue dragon area, I might just get one shot. So I think I'm gonna have to sit here for 10 minutes, wait out the aggression timer while nothing can attack me. And then we can maybe get our first brutal blue dragon kill. Ooh, I'm excited. While I wait out my 10 minute de timer, a quick word from today's sponsor. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring this video. Factor is a meal delivery service that sends you fresh pre-made meals straight to your door. I've been wanting to try Factor for a while now, and they actually sent me a box of meals to try. The meals are insanely convenient, very fast and easy to make, ready in two minutes or less. 
I tried the sun-dried tomato chicken with zucchini noodles. My favorite thing about the dish was definitely the sauce. It was very creamy and delicious. The chicken was so tender I could cut it with a fork. And I've never heard of zucchini noodles, but they were pretty good too. I would definitely eat this exact meal again, and I'm very excited to try the other ones they sent me. I personally would highly recommend you give Factor a try. There's a huge variety with over 27 options to choose from each week, so they'll definitely have something that you'll like, even if you're vegetarian or vegan. It's great for when you're playing RuneScape all day and don't want to cook, which happens to me a lot. It's even faster than ordering in or going out. So if you want to try Factor, use my link in the description or go to go.factor75.com and use code pogpipjune50 for 50% off your first box. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. 10 minutes has passed. We are unaggressive. Let's hop worlds and we can finally start trying to kill a brutal blue dragon. I have no idea how long this is going to take. I'm really curious to find out if it'll be over or under an hour. That's my rough estimation. I only want to kill a couple, like one or two maybe, because it'll be a lot faster when I get my stats up. All right, here we go. It's not often I get to unlock tiles on this account. They're so scarce. Let's walk it in. And these blue dragons should not attack me. Perfect. All right, let's bring the main. Okay, I have it set up. The blue dragon is attacking my main off screen. And I should be able to just turn on my prayers and click it. One. Let's see if I can go for two. Two hits. All right, it works. Okay, it's going to get back on my main. Oh my god, the other dragon took aggro. I guess I have to lose aggro on my main as well. Wait, this might work. The dragon trapped itself. And now this one. Let's try this. This should work, I think. The, dra the other dragon's like trapped, so it will never attack. Let's see. Attack at once. A oh, 14. Nice. Into... Dang. Okay, maybe this won't take an hour. I think that was insanely lucky. My chance to hit is very low. One, two. Wow, we got a method. It works. Now, how long is it going to take? Oh, the first kill. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> I get curry. I really wish I would have spooned this. This is going to take forever. It's... I uh, Full disclosure, I did mess it up. It went into like 10% HP. But this took probably over an hour. I think if I focused more, it probably could have taken like 50 minutes. But my god, it is slow. My chance to hit is so low, I definitely need better stats. I am restoring my prayer points here, and I almost have a full level just from restoring prayer points and burying all the bones I get. But while I was doing this, I came up with an idea. My chance to hit is really low, and I think that's the main problem. And I looked at the Dr. Jekyll and Hyde random, and if you have an Avento, they give you a super attack potion. And I did the DPS calcs. And with an attack potion, it doubles my chance to hit. So I think while I do all this other stuff on my checklist, I'm going to carry around an Avento and hopefully I can get some Aventos for some super attacks. And every time I get one, I'll just go kill some brutal blue dragons while I do all my other stuff. There it is, Avento. This took me way longer than I thought. I think I might stay here because I feel like I'm due for a second Avento. And that way I can just carry two around instead of one for two super attacks. I went like double the drop rate, so I should get it soon. Nope, not doing it. I'm not getting a second Davento. I sp I've been here for like another hour. <laughs> I can't get, I just can't seem to get the drop. I have like eight bronze bars though that I'm going to go use and some XP lamps to use. On the bright side, I did get an attack level, so that should help a little bit with the uh, chance to hit. I'm just going to make some scimitars to get these bronze bars out of the way. We should be hitting, I think it's six smithing. Oh, it's perfect. Six smithing. Make one more scimitar, and I have both of these XP lamps I'm going to use to get out of my inventory because I need some inventory for what I'm going to do next. 60 XP, 60 XP, 7 smithing, not bad at all. And I'm going to drop the Addy Mace. It has been a short-lived life, but it helped me out a ton, so thank you, Addy Mace. I'm part of the Rune Scimitar gang now. And it's time to commence Operation Gather Tiles. No, no, it needs a cool name. Operation Tile Apocalypse. Yeah, I haven't talked about tiles in a while, and after all, this is a Tileman account. With tiles being so hard to gather, tile investments need to either unlock more tiles than I invest, or be 100% necessary for a fire cape. 
and while some tiles look useless at first, they might be useful later on in the account. I've run the numbers, and before I migrate, I need to have at least 400 tiles available, which is almost double what I've unlocked currently. Thankfully, I've built my tiles in a specific way, so there are multiple tile farms within reach, which I need to make use of before I leave my starting area, which means it's time to enact Operation Tilepocalypse, aka gather 300 more tiles. All right, let's unlock this tile and this tile, and we can now walk here, which means we can cut this tree, which means we've unlocked wood cutting. Unfortunately, every time I cut this tree down, I'm gonna have to just stand here and until I can get to this oak tree, which is level 15. So it's gonna be a lot of waiting. Level 15 is gonna be a pain in the ass, but as soon as I get level 15, I will be chilling. There is level five wood cutting. And not only did we unlock wood cutting, our inventory is full now, so I can go ahead and start our fire making journey. We have both of these skills unlocked. I can farm 100, 200 tiles theoretically if I get 99, which I'm not gonna do, obviously. If I would ever liked this log. First fire making level, level two. I don't know how long I'm gonna go on these two skills, probably like a day or two of me just grinding wood cutting and fire making levels. One tree is rough. There's level 11. It's been just over an hour and I've gotten 10 levels. One KXP an hour. After like another hour, I wanna say 15 wood cutting finally, which means we can cut this oak tree, which is huge because I can cut more than one log from this tree without it depleting. And I have two trees, so I can always be cutting logs. Maybe I'll just swap from oak tree to normal tree when the oak's down. I don't know. There we go. 37 XP. Oh, two in a row. Let's go. This is going to skyrocket my XP. And right after I hit 15 wood cutting, something unthinkable happened. I should have seen the warning signs. Wood cutting is illegal on RuneScape. It looks like I'm banned forever and the series has come to an end. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Alexa, throw on some Debussy. I'm just kidding. I got 15 woodcutting months ago. I just wanted to say to bussy. That guy makes bangers. But yeah, I'm not banned. Uh, the false bans are crazy though. I hope none of you guys caught any. Anyways, while I was making that, I was woodcutting for like three days straight. Boom, 60 woodcutting. And if I walk over here, 60 fire making as well. 222 total tiles. What a tongue twister. We need 178 more. Is that math? I think that's math. It's time to move on to the next tile farm. Operation Tile Apocalypse is in full effect. We're here at the next tile farm. That was fast. I'm gonna drop my axe and tinderbox because I don't need it anymore and they're very easy to get back if I do wanna go train more fire making. But this is the next tile farm. I've already farmed a lot of tiles from this, but I think I want to just farm it for XP now. I think I'll probably just get 60 as well. Tile Apocalypse is going amazing. Two days later and there is 60 thieving as well, all from stealing cakes. Maybe I should have stolen from guards, but sure. Nah, this has to be better XP. I should have probably checked. Anyways, our skills are looking clean. 60s and three things I love when they end in, in zeros and tens. It's time to move to the next tile farm. And this one is going to be pretty fast, I think. Oh, a good one. An adamant pickaxe. You love to see it. I was just gonna go for mithril or above. I'm very happy with adamant. I've got a steel one as well to use in between so I can not use the iron one. But yeah, we're gonna go mining. There are some ores right next to the anvil that I unlocked, so let's head on over. I got flamed for unlocking these tiles, but one of the reasons I wanted to unlock them is because if I step outside this doorway, there are ores right over here that I can mine. There's some clay, adamant, some iron, some coal, some mithril, a lot of stuff. I think for now I'm going to start with some clay. I want to head towards the iron anyway, so I think I might just go for that rock. I'm spending some tiles right now, but you got to spend tiles to make tiles, you know? And we're at the clay rock. So let's get to mining this. I have to do this all the way to 15 again. It's just like the stupid tree. I think this will be even slower though, because does this give five XP? Am I even going to be able to mine this? Yep, five XP. It does respawn like instantly, but yeah, this is going to suck. This feels like the slowest thing I've ever done in my life. Six 
mining. Can use a steel pickaxe. What is the XP an hour? I have to look. 1400? I thought it was going to be like half of that. This feels so, so slow. The measly 5 XP drop is just too much, man. Oh, 15 mining. This might have been the slowest 90 minutes ever. 5 XP drops really suck. <laughs> Thankfully, I can now move on to iron ore. I think I'm just going to unlock all three instead of one. Because I'll just be able to farm tiles way faster. I could go right there and unlock just the one, but I'm going to go here and unlock all three. Two tiles wasted. I can live with that. We're at 228, and I think I might as well go all the way to 60 here as well. I might train all the stats more, but for now, I think 60 is a good base. 31 mining. I can now drop the steel pickaxe because I can use the adamant one. Pretty big upgrade, I think. Jumping from steel to all the way to adamant. I don't think I'll get a rune pickaxe, so I think this adamant pickaxe is the best pickaxe I'll ever have on this account. Yes, 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 yes. It finally happened. Give me my attack push. Does it really have to be cleaned, man? Is that... Did... Does he... Can he not clean it himself? What is his herb lore level, bro? Why can't he clean it himself? I've been carrying around this Avento for the past, like, two weeks. I've been, like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, God, I had a lot of Dr. Jekyll and Hyde randoms at the start of this account, and now I'm not getting any. And I've been waiting this whole time to get one, and I, now I get one, and I, he, I try to give him the... The herb and he can't clean it he doesn't know how it, he, it's it, it's not like it's an unidentified herb like it was back in the day he knows it's an avento why isn't it the same one bro i actually don't understand 60 mining we're finally done with skilling for now some nice even 60 stats on the page i think i'm going to go try my luck at brutal blue dragons for a bit hopefully the kills won't be hour long i'll probably try like 10 or so kills who knows maybe i'll spoon something really good the second brutal black Brutal black, brutal blue dragon kill, adamant spear. That's definitely not worth picking up. If I do get something worth picking up, I will waste one tile. I don't have telegrab yet. Kill number two, rune javelins, a rune item. That's cool. This one spawned on the tile so I can bury the bones. Kind of cool. I think I might be able to lure them to this tile if I do it right. Rune throwing axes. I'm getting a lot of rune items, just not uh, any good ones. Blue dragon scales. Have they have they always dropped this? This has to be new. I think this is going to be my last kill. This is probably, I think, kill number 10. They've been pretty fast. Rune throwing axes. Each kill probably takes about 40 minutes. I've gotten better at killing these, but I still want to train my attack and strength more before I kill these. 44 prayer. Eagle Eye will help a ton for the fight caves. And now... The final phase of Tile Apocalypse, the longest and most important grind on this account. The reason I unlocked the anvil in the first place, what you've all been waiting for, the grind to smith an iron bar. I thought 15 woodcutting was bad, 15 mining was worse, but 15 smithing is a whole nother beast. Right now, my only source of smithing XP is killing skeletons in the catacombs for a 1 in 25 chance at a bronze bar. Mining clay was 1400 XP an hour. I've estimated this is about 10 times worse. I'm estimating that I can get about 7 to 8 bronze bars per hour, which means I'll be averaging under 100 XP an hour which has to be the worst XP an hour I've ever gotten. I get more XP an hour pushing the wheat fields in Puro Puro for Christ's sake. But if you're wondering, is this really worth it? Can't you just go back to fire making and wood cutting and mining? And I could, but once I get 15 smithing, once I can make iron bars, I can just sit at the iron rocks and cast super heat iron ore over and over and over again. And my 125 smithing XP an hour will turn into like 30k smithing XP an hour, and it'll be the promised land, and I haven't even mentioned the best part yet. With those bronze and iron bars, I can make throwing knives, and I can train my range skill, which means I'll get even more tiles. And that's not even all, because the skeletons drop runes, which I can train my magic with and get, you guessed it, even more tiles. So yeah, the master plan is coming together in the next 
couple days of my life, I will be killing skeletons. All of this should put me over the goal of 400 available tiles, and then I'll only have one final thing until the Great Migration. Inventory number four in the books. We're at 11 smithing now. It's gonna be 195 knives, 283 available tiles, 200 XP more until 12 smithing, so eight more bars, not bad. Oh, oh, of course I get the level when I misclick off a tile. You didn't see that. 45 prayer just from burying bones? It's a lot of bones to bury, Jesus. Look at this, I've killed so many skeletons that I can complete a totem. I'm not gonna turn it in and kill Skatizo, but I have a totem. So that's kind of cool, I guess. We are currently at 2,265 skeletons. The melee stats are looking nice. I've got 65 attack, 66 strength, total of 78 bronze bars so far. We've got over a thousand air runes now, which is very nice. 270 law runes, 465 chaos runes. I think I'm really close to a level. Ooh, yeah, I am. I'm definitely gonna get a level this trip. 12 smithing, that means three more levels to go. 13 smithing, a couple hours later. We're only 200 XP away from the next level. Hopefully I can get it before the six hour log. I should, unless I get unlucky. Oh my God, I just barely made it. I'm getting logged out in like four minutes, but this should be 14 smithing, one level to go. That's like three hours to get like, what was it? 200 XP, like 180 XP. This place is so slow. I averaged 60 XP an hour over three hours. 24 more bars. <gasps> oh my God, I've never been more happy to see a genie in my life. Do you know how many bronze bars this genie is? I think I can just get the level. Let's use the lamp. It should be 140 XP. So what is that? 11 bronze bars? I just got an 11 bronze bar drop. Let's go. Do I have enough bronze bars to complete the level? Oh, I'm so tired. Where do I look? 13? Oh no, I need four more bronze bars. Oh my God, oh my God, let's get out of here. I have 13 bronze bars. Let me leave. Oh, let's go. 15 smithing. I have no idea how many hours that just took. How many bronze knives are we gonna end with here? 550-ish, 440-ish. Oh, this feels so good. Last bar. And 15 smithing. You can now make iron ore, smelt iron ore, make iron daggers. Oh, that feels so good. It's so relieving. I just need to get to 43 magic now. I have a ton of runes. 1,400 air runes, 300 law runes, 600 chaos runes, 559s on the dot. How many time much time played do I have? Oh my God, I have almost nine days. What is that? 180 hours? Jesus. Oh, there we go. Fresh new hat. We're going to start training some magic. Why not drift myself out for it? Blue wizard hat. How much does this actually give? Two magic bonus. It'll have three with a dagger. Everything counts when you have this much runes, I suppose. It's time to start using them. There we go. I actually needed one more bronze bar. I didn't make a dagger. I forgot. I even reminded myself to, but hopefully this is the last bronze bar I have to get. 13 magic, and I can use fire strike, but it uses a lot of air and fire runes but I think it's worth it because I really do need all the magic XP I can get. I don't have that much mind runes anyway. I think every time the guard has like four or five HP left, I'm just gonna kill it with melee so that I can always hit my max hit. And hopefully that will increase the XP I get from the runes because I need it. Level 16 magic, which is one magic level away from unlocking Windbolt, unlocking our giant chaos rune stack. Unfortunately, we only have one more mind rune left. There it goes. So that means we have to go kill hill giants to get mind runes for 300 more XP. That's not that bad. Dude, what is my genie luck? That's actually crazy. This genie is worth like six or seven mind rune drops probably. It's 160 XP. That means we only need like 100 more XP. Well, that's not even bad at all. All right, huge level 17 magic. We can use our chaos runes now with wind bolt. We have 619 chaos runes to go through. That is a lot. Hopefully it'll get me all the way to 31 so I can start using telegrab, which will be my main source of leveling probably. Big mage level 23 magic. We can use water bolt. I have so many water runes that I think this is definitely worth it. It's just 
two extra water runes. I don't know what else I'm going to use them for. So I might as well use them for water bolting, right? I think it's just an extra max hit. So I'll probably average like, you know, like eight XP more per cast or something. Random math off the top of my head. That's probably not right. I have some god awful DEFCON 10 news. I only have three chaos runes left. We're at 18,000 experience. I don't even think this is going to get me the level. I'm just going to use a couple low alks. I really need to save these fire and nature runes for super heat, but I just want to level real quick. 33 mage. We have 10 levels to go. But there is some good news because at 33 magic, I get telekinetic grab, which is crazy for my account. I can grab stuff from a distance, which means I can take stuff off of my tiles. So if I ever kill a monster and its loot drops off my tiles, I don't have to unlock a tile. I don't have to not pick up the loot. I can just telegrab it. And it gives 43 XP per cast too. That's so huge. The big problem is I only have 83 air runes, which means I'm gonna have to go back to the skeletons, which I really don't wanna do. I'm not gonna lie. I killed over 3,000 of them, which means I'm probably gonna have to kill like another like three or 4,000 to get enough runes to get 43 magic. AKA another like 30 to 40 hours. And that's a grind I'll leave for next episode.